What's up, guys? It's Zeb coming at you from Organic Price Books with a new release from DC, which uh, looks like a lot of people are excited for. This is very interesting. We're looking at Dead Boy Detectives Omnibus uh, in the Sandman universe, a new omnibus by DC. Um, again, if you've watched the show, you, I think you kind of got a glimpse of this now. This is also being made into another show by Netflix as well, uh, which is great. I like Sandman. I thought it was great. Spin-offs of that is going to be amazing. Let me show you the front. Nice spine. And the back. Very cool. And I like this front. Just like the shoes and then like the, the, the reflection is the ghosts. Because uh, these two kids are dead. That's right, they're dead. They're ghosts. Uh, sorry to spoil it for you. I think the title kind of gave it away. Uh, let me show you underneath. This is a really cool spread uh, underneath on the... Um, Jackets on the whatever flaps you want to call them, whatever you want to call them, looks great. I like that, very nice. Um, so yeah, let's take a look again. This is later in the Sandman universe, so we're definitely going to run into some characters that we know. Uh, let's take a look at the what's included and as well as what's in the book. <laughs> So let's go ahead and see what lies beneath the grave of Dead Boys Detectives. This kind of tells you what's in the table of contents. I'm going to show that to you so you can see. Here as well. Very cool. All right. And it's going to jump a little bit, uh, you know, time-wise or... or uh, Year-wise, not in the book, probably in the book, but also in the art style, as you can tell. This is definitely a little bit more rough with the art style. Very much the Sandman-looking uh, artwork. And, of course, it kind of tells, like, the history of all that, which is really cool. Again, Sandman is such a, such a wide-reaching universe. Uh, if you remember, they talked to Cain and Abel. They, you know, talked to death, to different, like, realms and such like that. Well, I gotta spread this so you know. If you hear some creaking, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, you get you get some of the uh, there's magic as well. Some of like the dreams and and fairy tales and such. So it's really cool to see some of that intersect with this story here. Uh, and let's see here. Oh, that looks nice. Very cool. Let me tell you a little bit about the book. All right, stepping out of the pages of Neil Gaiman's The Sandman, the Dead Boy Detectives are thrust into the mystery of a lifetime. Charles Rowland and Edwin Payne were murdered at boarding at were murdered at boarding school, but that hasn't stopped them from living out their dreams. While avoiding death, literally, they enjoy a ghostly existence by reading mystery novels, watching thrillers, and hanging out in their clubhouse. Aspiring to become detectives, the two will take on their first case and unwittingly fail, fall prey to supernatural horrors galore and a lifeless, long obsession with solving creepy, scary capers. From Eisner Award-winning writers Neil Gaiman and Ed Brubaker, award-winning auth award authors Toby Litt and Eisner Award-winning artists Mark Buckingham, Brian Talbot, Steve uh, Leloja, Matt Wagner, and writer-artist Jill Thompson, and more come from, comes the story of two ghosts becoming best friends and not so great detectives. So very cool. Definitely horror, you know, like nightmare inducing stuff. Not, yeah, well, they do it. But it's funny because they're avoiding death. They're trying not to go into the afterlives. They're trying to stay in this world. And you get to see some of these uh, adventures that they go on. Oh, that's, that would have that been a cool cover. Actually, I wouldn't have mind that one as a cover. That's just very, very cool. I like that. Um, and then they do, inter uh, you know, a former relationship with this girl who kind of sees them and, and is is uh, helps them solve crimes as well. Since they're dead, they really can't interact with the living world. So, you know, she helps them with that and they take on the the uh, supernatural aspect. 
you can see different, a lot of different styles of artworks where it jumps into. And, you know, I'm here for all of it. It just looks great. You kind of get to see uh, each artist put a little bit of themselves into the artwork on here, uh, add a little uh, bit of character and personality to them. Look at the, my little pony. <laughs> um, you go from some really nice uh, art, you know, almost ultra-realistic artwork to some of the... Um, more funny, or not funny, but cartoony one. I'll show you right now. I saw it earlier, and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Uh, you see something like that, like it's some more, more, uh, yeah, cartoony, I would say. Um, or like this one, like very manga-ish, very cool. I like that. Black and white, no colors on this. So, yeah, I like that uh, the story kind of evolves as it goes with these characters, and they take on, you know, their own personalities with each writer. Very cool. Um, let's see if there's any extras included in it. Okay, so you have uh, The Making of the Children Crusade and Free Country. Uh, introduction by Neil Gaiman, of course. And, okay. Some other uh, features in Swamp Thing, it looks like. So it kind of continues a little bit more. Uh, the Making of the Dead Boy Detectives. Character studies, character sketches. Okay, some of the outlines and scripts. Very cool. So definitely uh, gives you a little bit of the behind the scenes on this. Oh, some of the pencil drawings of it. Very nice. The character designs. That guy's freaky. Oh. Very cool. There you go, guys. So that is the Dead Boy Detectives, the new omnibus uh, from. DC, let me know if you guys are going to get it. Are you going to jump into this other book from the uh, world of the Sandman universe? Uh, are you excited for the show that's going to come out? Let me uh, Leave me a comment. Let me know down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.